Okay, let's move to another topic. The procedural requirements for dismissal of employees. Okay. Um, there are two uh, aspects. One is dismissal for just cause and dismissal for authorized cause. Now, let's first uh, discuss the due process requirements for dismissal for just cause. Well, under the uh, rules, under the law, uh, employers are required to uh, issue a written notice to explain or conduct a hearing if necessary and uh, issue a written notice of decision. Now, the notice to explain must be in writing and should specify the acts or omissions committed by the uh, employee. Uh, uh, a general statement as to the offense will not suffice. No. And the notice to explain should also give the employee reasonable period within which to uh, explain. Uh, what would be a reasonable period? Well, in the case of King of Kings transport, the Supreme Court ruled that a minimum of five days is a reasonable uh, period. Now, if the continued presence of the employee poses a serious and imminent threat to the life and property of the employer or of the co-employees, the employer may place the employee under preventive uh, suspension. The purpose of this is to prevent the employee from causing harm or injury to the company, as well as to his fellow uh, employees. Now, administrative hearing. Well, admi administrative hearing may be conducted only when necessary. And if ever an administrative hearing is conducted, it is summary in nature and it is not a matter of right. Uh, in fact, uh, confrontation of witness is not uh, essential because uh, 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 confrontation of witness is uh, required only in adversarial criminal uh, prosecutions and not on company um, investigation. So that means that uh, an employee cannot claim denial of due process if he was not given the opportunity to confront his witness, the witnesses. Employees did not even be apprised of the right to uh, counsel uh, because the right to counsel, the right to the obligation to apprise a person of uh, the right to counsel applies only to custodial investigation and not to company investigations. That is why an employee cannot claim denial of due process if he was not apprised of his right to uh, counsel. Then the, the uh, next is notice of decision. The decision must be in writing. Uh, indicating the penalty for the offense or exonerating the employee if the evidence does not uh, uh, prove any culpability. Now, in either case, the justification for the decision must be stated. Now, 